Well, the weekend has officially begun, and we welcome you to this 2K Sports presentation of NBA Basketball. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry. From the sideline, we'll have David Aldridge. We'll be hearing from him in just a moment. D.A., it's all yours. Thank you, Kevin. Michael Porter Jr. fell to 14th in the 2018 draft. Some team doctors worried that his back injury was so bad he might never play again. A few years later, he's not only playing, but Coach Mike Malone said, I think he has a chance to be an all-league talent. And in talking to Porter guys, that's clearly on his to-do list. Well, he's got the right coach, and he is a terrific young talent. That's a pretty good match. David, thank you. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Lowry Markkinen. And maybe it's shocking, and maybe, no, well, maybe not too shocking, but the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. I'm sure it's something he's well aware of, and we'll see if that continues to be the case. Now let's take a look at the Nuggets' opening lineup. Gordon and Jokic hold down the post for him. The wing set for them, Barton and Porter. And it's Murray in at the point. And for the Cavaliers, they've got Mobley. Ricky Rubio is out there with Rain Man. Then it's Okoro. And it's Allen in at the five. A couple of great big men in the middle tonight, Greg. Center matchups are far from traditional these days, but this should be fun to watch. Especially, Kevin, once you get into the small ball lineup. I mean, we've seen guys as short as B.J. Tucker play the five. Now, here's Mobley. Good on the triple. Three-point shot has always been part of Ricky's game. Consistency is what he struggles with. Here's Murray. It's a three-point game. Pass to Jokic. Back to Murray. And it's sent back by Allen. And that'll be Denver as it goes out of bounds. Nuggets retain possession. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And making a statement right away. Letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. Marie finds Jokic. Five to shoot. Gordon. Man, he's had three good looks at the basket and nothing to show for it. That's 0 for 4 now. Time to slow it down and maybe get the best possible shot the next time down. Yeah, trying to get going here, but that's an 0 for, for the first five here to start the game. There's Allen. That's good on the assist from Okoro. And with Allen's height and agility, he breezes through the contact, getting himself right to the finish. Now here's Barton. Back to Murray. Outside, Porter. Now the pass to Jokic. Barton surveying the floor. Murray for three. Again, the miss by Murray. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Mobley the pass to Rubio. Here's a Coro, and another three for Cleveland. And right now, they're just focused on putting together good possessions. That's exactly how they got the lead. They ended up having multiple possessions in a row with good quality shots, knocked them down, and the game is fully in their control. Wide open look here for Murray. That's in, coming off the assist from Jokic. Well, you got to be aware of Murray there. You just know he's aiming to get payback with a triple. And the foul Denver on Jamal foul. Murray. Jamal that is his Murray. first foul of the game. First personal foul. First team foul. Inside, here's Sullivan. Nice job on the contest from Barton there. Closing the open look at the hoop quickly with that long reach. Jokic kicks to Barton. Back to Jokic. Now here's Murray. Guarded closer. Denver needs to get off his shot. Rocket two. Jokic, no good. The Cavaliers leading by five. Here's Sullivan. Score the basket. Nice Jokic. shot after missing his first attempt. Man, right off the bat, super sharp here offensively. Four of five so far. Barton in the corner. And 
Burton throws it down. I know sometimes it looks out of control, but his dribble play can be effective. Barton there with the handle and the deuce. Mobley dishes to Rubio. Okoro passes to Rubio. Now Mobley. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Gives up a three. And another three for Cleveland. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Here's Jokic. Murray kicks to Porter. Barton outside. From outside the arc. And they'll get another chance. Another shot. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Is it getting cold in here? This is, this is a tough one. Crucial that he starts to work a little harder for a higher percentage shot. Sullivan the pass to Rubio. Now Mobley over Gordon. Mobley misses. You think about Barton's career. Five-star recruit. Two years in college. And then right to the NBA, where he spent some time in the D League at the time. Well, that mid-range J usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. And it goes out of bounds. Oh, so last touch by Barton. Nuggets on D. Eight-point game. Rubio, the pass to Sullivan. Here's Allen. Jokic defending. Here's Rain Man. Just five to shoot. Sinks the triple. Okoro's got a couple of threes now in the first for Cleveland. You know, Brent, I was thinking about Barton in those early years. His biggest disadvantage was probably a lack of strength. You wonder, Kevin, has the game changed so much that that's Jamal not quite Murray. as important as it once was, where Barton now can have freedom of movement, roam around, play in transition as we move to this pace and space type of offense. Will Barton seems to fit the bill quite nicely. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Barton passes to Jokic. Got a hand on it. Here's Rain Man, Martin defending, shoots it, and again it's Cleveland. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Passes it to Jokic. Back to Murray. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First personal foul. Well, it's the range First that Jamal Murray foul. has that's really impressive. At the line, and at the time, Murray's Jamal 20 points Murray. per game were the most ever Two by shots. a Kentucky freshman. Now, how about that? And then he comes into the league and shows you that he's got the kind of confidence where he's going to take a shot off the dribble, get around the pick, read a defender going underneath, and just start to pile up points in a hurry. And some of those have come at some of the biggest moments in the playoffs. Morris is checked in for Denver. He hits the second from the line. Now, there's a lot of potential left in the tank for Jamal Murray. He's able to play both guard spots, but it's that sweet jump shot that has his teammates and the coaching staff salivating about where his ceiling is. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now here's Murray. The Cavaliers pull it in. Mobley's got his fourth rebound in this one. In the corner, Okoro with it. Another three for Cleveland. And really setting the tone early with their three-point shooting. The Nuggets trail by 17. Morris passes to Porter. Pass to Gordon. He kicks it to Porter. Pass to Jokic. And it's sent back by Allen. And how about, and with that great length and awareness, Allen continues to build his reputation as a shot blocker. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. 
like tonight that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team. Now just sustain some of that energy and keep comfortable. Always going up for the LU here, and Mobley throws it down. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. Now, here's Porter. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Here's Gordon to end the run, and it's sent back by Allen. Now, Mobley moving it up. Throws it down. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Nuggets. And as the regular season winds toward the playoffs, Greg, for those teams in the upper half of the standings, how much are they looking at the seating and their possible opponents? Well, I don't think most would admit it, but it's human nature to think ahead, trying to map out that route and looking at how it breaks down in the bracket. Get ready for the death squad! Cavaliers with some changes. Markinen, he's checked in for a Coro. Colin Sexton comes in for Rain Man. And it's Garland in for Ricky Rubio. The Nuggets also changing it up. Jeff Green is checked in for Jokic. Green comes in for Aaron Gordon. Composites subbed in for Murray. Morris, no good. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin. Particularly here to start the game. Allen dishes to Sexton. Cleveland moving it around. Allen kicks to Garland over Morris. Garland, no good. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up, and you can't knock it down. Not a piece of it. And how about marketing using his size and reach on defense? Great timing in terms of being able to get up and block shots. Cleveland leading by 23. Allen passes to Garland. And he uses the glass on the way. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for the Cavaliers. Great hustle defensively through the first half. Contesting everything and racking up the block shots. Another big aspect has to be the fast break and transition play. Really looking to go up tempo tonight. Here's Morris. Darius Garland picking up that last basket. And a wide open look for Porter. Nailed from three point land. Porter in a comfortable place there. He likes the pass as being on target. And he stays perfect in rhythm with that jay. And the shot goes in. Mobley's got six points. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Right side green. He's looking for Porter, finds him, takes the alley-oop pass, and dunks it down. And Green is a critical role player for this team. His passing is really phenomenal. Here's Allen, back to Garland, beyond the arc. Traps in the tray. Five points in the game. Outstanding start from three-point range. Their shooters are on fire. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. Austin Rivers, he's checked in for the Nuggets. And so here's Cleveland. Markinen kicks to Sexton. Here's Mobley. The basket good off the assist from Sexton. And of the last six baskets, five have come on in the interior. Teams. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Outside, Green. Another three for Denver. Green. And Green's become a, a dependable three-point threat. If you don't get a hand in his face, he can certainly knock those down. To the middle. Here's Mobley. No good on that one. And the Nuggets going the other way. Last time they met was in Denver. And their last time against this club, they really fell short at the free throw line. Porter passes to Composo. Stolen by Garland. Here's the break. Feeds to Allen. Back to Markinen. 
count that one. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Compasso, the pass to Green. Outside, Green. And again, Denver Jeff with Green. the triple. Three yeah, that's two bombs in a row from long range. So for the Nuggets, their last game, a win against the Washington Wizards. That mental toughness on the road. The arena was rocking, but they just got down to business and never let up. Impressive to see them on the road just step up and have that kind of offensive performance. This quarter belongs to them, and that's how you do it when you're out in front. Don't play it safe. Keep that momentum going. Green left side. There's the dish to Porter. They kick it out to Green. Good, and a nice assist from Green. Porter. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. Sexton, the pass to Allen. There's the three. Another three for Cleveland. Oh, this is kind of fun. Sexton coming back and returning the favor. And here's Porter. Takes it inside. Up and in like on the way. Porter's got his third basket of the night. Well, that, that's one way he can finish, but far from the only way he gets it done. He's got all kinds of tricks up his sleeve. Evan Mobley getting it done for Cleveland. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. And we'll be right back after this. Some historic numbers put up by Nikola Jokic, but he made it clear it is a team effort. It's easy for me, actually. I mean, I have such a great teammate. I mean, it's easy, really easy for me to do whatever I do on the court. And it's certainly true, Greg. There's a depth of talent on this team. With complementary skill sets, too. But let's not kid ourselves. It all revolves around the Joker and his unique skill set. They'll go as far as he takes them. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And from what you guys have seen so far from Cleveland, uh, what's your take? Stingy on the defensive end in that first quarter. They were just getting up into people. Just a, a great job, really, of making the game ugly, trying to muck it up a little bit out there. On the floor for Denver as we get going here in the second quarter. They've got Green. Jamichael Green is out there with Michael Porter. And it's Rivers. And it's Campazzo in at the point guard position. Took the opportunity when he saw it. Campazzo's got his first points of the game. I like that. Staying alert. Rivers keeping his head up to find the open man. Mobile. Rebound by the Nuggets. And it's been wonderful to watch Rivers develop into a veteran leader. And he understands his role is evolving. The, the need to set an example for younger players. That said, he still plays with a huge chip on his shoulder. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldrin. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Nuggets, when healthy, are one of the league's elite teams. Aaron Gordon says we have championship aspirations. And you've got the Joker, you have a chance to win every single night. If we play our best, we have a good chance to go as far as we want to. Guys, I just want to go as far as throwing it back to you. You can throw it to us anytime. And he is the defending MVP and plenty of players around Jokic. David, thanks. They are for real. And here are the Nuggets now after Darius Garland getting his shot to go from deep. Porter passes to Green. Good. And a nice assist from Porter. Porter's got three assists now in this one. Porter Jr. moving the ball well. Nice to have a wing player help to be a facilitator. Now, here's Garland. He picked up 15 points in their last one against Philadelphia. A big miscommunication defense on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. 
Main man checked in for Cleveland. Denver also making some changes. Jokic has checked in for Green. Gordon comes in for Jermichael Green, and it's Will Barton in for Porter. Quarter two, and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Here's Rivers. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Down low. It's deflected. Jokic with the steal. Rivers passes to Composo. Kicks to Gordon. For three. And again, Denver with the triple. That's pretty much not how they want to defend the three-point line. Somebody's got a shadow him out there. That one falls. Garland's got five points now in the quarter. This looks like he's got more feel tonight. Like he's really got a good grip on that ball as he's letting it go. Composo, the pass to Jokic. Dishes it to Barton. The pass to Jokic. Tipped. And it's out of bounds. The Nuggets able to retain possession here. Denver ball. And Cleveland making a change here. Akoro's checked in. And a switcher also for Denver. Murray's checked in. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes play, and it's good, two points. And that's where Murray's speed shines through. He gives the D no time to react off that pass. Sullivan, the pass to Love. Kicks to Okoro. Lets it fly. It's held in by Jokic. He's going to be shaking his head on that one. Knows he missed an easy one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. Now, here's Akoro, following the miss by Aaron Gordon. Garland with the bucket. Yeah, well, Garland started the game at 6-1, but the way he's playing now, he's got to be feeling seven feet tall. Pass to Jokic. Back to Murray. Fires for three. That's in. Coming off the assist from Jokic. Murray's got five points now in the quarter. You got to try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Pushing the action, getting others involved. He does it time and time again. Nice to play with a point guard that takes pride in playmaking. It makes you move around just a little bit faster to get open spots. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. And the call up against Jokic. That is his first foul of the game. Second and the Nuggets making a change here. Morris is checked in. Monte Morris. And stolen by Barton. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Nuggets will retain possession. The Nuggets trail by 21. Now Morris. No points in the game yet for him. And Morris throws it down. Morris gives the team such a great element having a one guard who can get to the 10. Uh, certainly something every team wants to have. I like to see that assertiveness especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Jokic finds Barton. Morris with the ball. He gives the team some steady offense, a bit under 10 points a game. Jokic with the bucket. Such an outstanding effort there for the big man to stay focused with his shot. Jokic, tremendous concentration. Now, here's Okoro. Picks it out to Markinen. Sullivan, the pass to Markinen. Uses the glass to finish the way. And the Cavaliers lead by 21. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. Here's Gordon. And then Gordon with the dunk. 
a constant threat around the rim. Gordon is an agile big who just throws it down with ease. Garland kicks to a Carl. And it's Monte Morris with the foul. Monte Morris. That is his first foul of the game. Personal foul. Ricky Rubio check in for Garland. Coming onto the floor for Cleveland. Ricky Rubio. Here's Rain Man. He had 31 points in the win against Philadelphia. Let's just not forget about the work on the glass. His effort level was a 10 that night out of 10. Now Morris, after Lowry Market, misses from long range. Morris, left side. Pass to Jokic. Releases. The shot's good on the assist by Morris. Yeah, they've raised their shooting percentage in this quarter, and they're starting to get on track. Arkanen passes to Sullivan. Cleveland moving it around. With the drive, and he throws it down hard with one hand. Denver calls to making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. Denver calls timeout. And Greg, you had a lot of success playing in college and the NBA, but what was the most fun you ever had playing with a team? Oof. That's a tough call, Kevin. I mean, winning tends to be the most fun. So I'd have to probably say my UNLV team. But we had some great teams with the Knicks. And don't forget about my Blazers. They were also a really competitive team. Jared Allen checked in for Markinen. It's pretty obvious right now the defense is not comfortable with Barton taking those shots. He's remarkable at drawing fouls when he's on the floor. The Nuggets shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. All three throws good from Barton. 6'6", 175. That's one wily athlete. Will Barton, tough to guard, given his height and his speed. Okoro passes to Sullivan for Murray. And again, it's Cleveland. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group, guys. The Nuggets trail by 19. And the whistle blows in the backcourt violation. He went over and back. And to make that mistake at this time is tough to come back from. Well, not making things easier on themselves right now, that's for sure. He tries for three, hits it from three-point range. Okoro's got 12 points in the game. And guys, he's been a one-man air raid coming at them time and time again. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found a comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. You know, he's had better starts, obviously, but he's shaking it off here in the second. There's the pass to Sullivan. And there's another one for the Cavaliers. The Nuggets trail by 21. Pass to Jokic. On the wing, Gordon. That shot off. Good D by Love. Cleveland's gone two or three when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. Three-pointer and another three for Cleveland. And this is why coaches talk about playing with pace. The scoreboard tells it all. Kind of get a team defensively on their heels, and if you can keep pushing and keep attacking, they'd never find some kind of defensive balance to help slow you down. Outside for Murray. And again, Denver Jamal with the triple. Murray. Great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to will his team back in the game. The Cavaliers leading by 21. Passes it to Sullivan. Takes the three. That's in. Coming off an assist from Rubio. Rubio's got four assists now tonight. Rubio against Morris. Pass to Jokic. Murray outside. Six on the shot clock, and it's Kevin Love with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. A different look for Denver. Green comes in for Jokic, and it's Green in for Will Barton. 
Morris with the ball. Guarded now by Okoro. Six to shoot. They kick it out to Green. And again, Denver with the triple. I like that from Murray right there. When he's passing it like this, it can make him so much better and so much more open. And you talk to Murray. He said it was a lot of fun to grow up in Canada. Wanted to prove that you can play ball there and still get to where you need to go. And Morris has got the ball here for the Nuggets. The Celtics will be coming into town for the next game. And that game will kick off a four-game homestand. Here's Murray. Cavaliers with the rebound. Rain Man has got his fourth rebound in this one. And as a prep, Murray formed a duo with Don Maker to defeat some top American school. And Murray blew up in some of the showcases. Five-star recruit, top ten pick. Canada producing yet another exceptional town. Murray, good. Jamal Murray. Feels like the other four guys have disappeared at this point. He wants to be the one to get them back. Sullivan, the pass to Allen. To the paint. Here's Love. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And boy, you, you got to hand it to Kevin Love. Opening up about mental health. Helping to raise awareness on a subject that affects so many around the globe. Yeah, I think both Kevin Love and DeMar DeRozan from the player's standpoint did a great job of shedding light in that area. But Adam Silver who, himself, who went to a conference and talked a lot about what players are dealing with and how the stresses of social media and the pressures of playing are wearing on them. The league as a whole, players, management, and the commissioner himself have done a great job of providing this kind of safe environment for players to be courageous enough to step out and say, I need help. Now here's Porter. He has seven. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Here's a Coro. The basket good off the assist from Sexton. Sexton's got assist number five here tonight. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Here's Morris. Outside Porter. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And Cleveland the other way now. They're coming off that win against Philadelphia. I, I like their aggressiveness in that one. No one's going to give you anything. You've got to go out and take it. And going back and watching that game, there was not one spot on the floor that they did not own. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye-opening. Now here's Porter. He's guarded closely. Here's Green, and that one comes up a bit short. Here's Sexton. And so it's Cleveland with a massive lead of 30 points here at the end of the quarter. And with as many three-pointers as they drink, it's easy to see why they're on the cusp of a blowout. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks a lot, guys. With Mike Malone, as the second half approaches, Coach, what are you looking for? Execution, pace and purpose with everything that we do, uh, and making sure that when we call a set, we know what we're trying to accomplish and get the ball to where our players can be effective. We'll see if they can fix that in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. For the Cavaliers, Kenny, how'd you see it? Well, they were completely in rhythm shooting the basketball. Just watching the flow of their offense, everything clicked into place. Fantastic shot selection. They took advantage of everything the defense gave them. And Shaq, your take on Denver. They're getting abused in the paint defensively, letting their opponents set the ball. Their matchup physically, you're toast. And that's what the scoreboard is reflecting right now. Toast with butter. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Just go over there.
with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. And guys, you know, Isaac Okoro has really been making it happen. Something has kicked him into gear tonight as he has done work on the offensive end. I think he's enjoying it too. So rare to have an offensive explosion from him. You know his teammates are loving that as well. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Main man is out there with Ricky Rubio. Ricky Rubio. Then it's a coral. First, first then there's Mobley. And first it's Allen in at the five spot. That's the five for Cleveland right now. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. Murray against Rubio. And Jokic with the basket on the assist by Murray. Murray's got three assists tonight. Mobley kicks to a Okoro. Rubio, the pass to Sullivan. Cleveland moving it around. To the left wing. Here's a Coro. Out of bounds. Denver takes possession. Well, that's two teammates who need to reintroduce themselves to one another, not on the same page. And for the Nuggets, they're shooting pretty well at 46% from the floor. And Ricky Rubio gets the whistle that time. Ricky Rubio. That's foul Second number two for him. Foul. Second team foul. On defense, the Cavaliers. On the wing, Porter. To the inside. Thrown back. And so it looks like Denver will retain Nuggets possession ball. here. Puts it up off the inbound. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. And the pass to Sullivan. The three. Rebound by the Nuggets. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Nikola Jokic is arguably the greatest passing center of all time. Arguably because Wilt is in the conversation. But Jokic sees the game a frame ahead. Nikola said, I just look where defenders are standing, listen to what they're talking about, and their play calls. For me, it's a normal thing. I just wonder what they're doing, and I do the opposite. Kevin, it's simple, actually. I'm going to do the opposite now and stop Michael talking. No, 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 no. <laughs> you keep talking. We'll keep listening. And, David, thank you very much. Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Yep, you're right. Finish hard with two hands on that stuff. Murray finds Jokic. Back to Murray. Jokic on top. Pass to Barton. It's Porter outside. Another three for Denver. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. And Rubio's passes lead to a boost in confidence for the entire team. And so it's Murray with it. He brings it up for the Nuggets. Passes to Jokic. Porter looking it over. Knocked away. Stolen by a Coro. Mobley kicks to a Coro. Trying his work from deep. Rubio misses. Denver's gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. And, and perfect Jamal timing. Murray. This run is exactly what they needed, and it's right when they needed it. They couldn't afford to wait any longer. Pass to a Coro. That's in. Coming off an assist from Rubio. Rubio's got his seventh assist in the game. Outside, Porter. Murray outside. The pass to Jokic. 
over Allen. Just five on the clock. Outside, Porter. Let's the three fly. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Rain Man's got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's Mobley. Passes it to Sullivan. Here's a Kuro. No good on the three. Nuggets have gone five of nine on field goal attempts since halftime. Murray against Rubio. It's rebounded by Cleveland. We'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position, plenty of space. Just clanked it. Sullivan, the pass to Mobley. He dishes a two, a Coro. Eyes a three, and Rubio gets it to go on the assist from a Coro. Rubio's got nine points. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Jokic kicks to Gordon. Back to Jokic. And they pick up two. He's got eight. Love the floor spacing with this offense because Jokic at the center can move the ball just about anywhere you want. Now he's attacking the paint. Now here's Rubio. Nine points in the game so far. From past the arc. And another three for Cleveland. Those are starting to add up, guys. Of their last five baskets, three have been triples. Murray with the bounce pass from 10 feet out. And it's Jokic missing. Well, that's a shot they want just about on every possession if they can get it. He doesn't make them all, but still very much a high percentage look. That's the guy they're going to keep going to as they should. The lead's only going up if they keep feeding him. Here's Barton following the score by Cleveland. Jokic inside. Nicole He's against Allen. Jokic. Jokic with the bucket. Jokic has got six in the quarter. Has to Sullivan. And here is Mobley. Score that one for him. His eighth field goal. Eight for 11 on a very accurate night. And his stroke has been dead on from the outside. I mean, inside, outside. It just doesn't matter. Jokic against Rubio. Jokic passes to Murray. Jokic inside. Ten points for him. Misses the lane. Cleveland's gone. Three of seven from three-point range here in quarter number three. Cleveland moving it around. Yep, that one goes in there. And that's 18 points for Evan Mobley. Textbook feed from Allen. A big man who helps facilitate the offense. Pass to Porter. Shoots the three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Rain Man's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Allen with it. Now defended by Jokic. Here's Sullivan. And it's off from three-point range. Yeah, the defense there in chill mode. We all know he can burn them from three-point range. Tries from 10. Murray, good. Jamal. Murray's got 26. This is one of those games where we're not seeing him slow down, so we're in for something real special from Jamal Murray. Here's Sullivan. Drills it from outside. Yeah, you would think a coach might have talked to his defense about making the adjustment on him, but right now, he's just lighting him up. Barton dishes to Murray. Allen against Porter. Here's Jokic. He can't get that one. And it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. And at home for the next game, it'll be Detroit pulling into town. And that'll be the fourth of this five-game homestand. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. And you watch Porter. Unbelievable potential. He makes some plays that just leave you shaking your head. Here's Sullivan. Porter with a block. And, you know, as he learns the game at this level, he's going to block more shots. Porter has the length and the ability to move his feet. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Kevin Love's checked in for Jared Allen. Markinen comes in for Mobley. Sexton, he's checked in for Okoro. And it's Garland in for Ricky Rubio. Now, here is Morris. Green finds Rivers. Rivers. 
a floater. Basket counts. Austin. And the team has talked, Greg, about having high hopes for Porter. What does he need to do, though, to reach that next level? And frankly, more maturity is going to lead to greater consistency. He missed his only season in college, missed his first season in the NBA, and this guy's still making up for lost time. Denver's gone 2 of 5 with a three-point shot since coming out of the break. Here's Morris. And no good. Excellent D there from Markinen. Sexton the pass to Sullivan. And Denver the whistle foul. blow. It's going to be Jeff on Jeff Green. Green. Second That'll be his foul. second foul of the game. First team foul. Outside Garland. That's a bad miscue, but I think they've done a really good job keeping control of the ball throughout the game. That's nice vision there. You see that pass, you make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. Here's Rain Man. He's got 25 from deep three-point range. Doesn't go for him. And he has been ice cold from beyond the arc here since halftime, and he continues yet to fire away. He has got to tone it down if he wants to help his team. Morris outside. And there's the pass to Rivers. Off target from outside. They are in complete control. This is the ultimate definition of the zone. Everything they've done has worked. Offensive rebound. Not loose. It's stolen by Green. And here we go with Morris. Running it up the court. A nice shot by Rivers. Rivers. Good job getting the ball and completing that play. The defense producing easy looks. It just helps you conserve some energy for late in the game. Green with the block. Snatched away to the middle. Here's Markinen. And another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Morris passes to Green. Now here's Rivers. One thirty-five left in the third. In the corner, it's Morris. Not three off the mark. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. I love to scan the floor. He's always looking for the late cutter and patient with that decision. Denver shooting in this game, 45%. Now here's Rivers. Defense is right there. On the wing, Morris. Takes a three. Markinen pulls it in. Markinen's got his fourth rebound in this one. Sexton for three. Denver grabs the miss. Morris right side. Green, no luck. And what should have been a simple pass and finish ends up in a missed opportunity on that alley-oop attempt. Yeah, you'd like to keep things a little more simple, and that was a play that didn't quite develop the way they wanted it. Defense shaking their heads. No idea how to stop him in this quarter. He's got him on the ropes. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. And the wide-open shot from Morris. Good on the three-point shot. Morris has got his third bucket of the night. That's yeah, just a lapse right there. No matter what, somebody has to be there and get a hand up in the shooter's face. Down the stretch, he's been flat out awesome. He helped them get the lead, and now he's making sure they keep it. Campazzo guarded by Garland. Passes to Green. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. Cleveland ahead, running away with this one. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he, he may not be known as a pass-first guy playing out of the two-guard spot, but he shows here that he can dole out an assist or two 
when he needs to. Even though the position is called shooting guard, passing part of your responsibilities in today's game. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. And Denver will start the fourth quarter with. They've got Austin Rivers. It's Najee in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Rondo. The basket good off the assist from Sexton. Rondo's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Pass to Rivers. The three. Fall with the rebound. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. I think he rushed that one just a little bit, thinking the defense was going to get close. They weren't. A nice shot by Dozier. Dozier. And just Shakespearean there, a smart read. Saw the defense was collapsing inside, so he wisely pulled up from the outside and drilled it. And Sexton slams it in. Sexton more and more in control and trying to deal with the aggressive defense so far in this game. First and what do you guys foul. think so far about the offensive approach the for Cleveland? And I like how they've taken the high percentage shot in the paint. In that first half, we saw them doing it, and they've continued to succeed as the game has worn on. The other impressive part about their offense tonight has been their ability to get inside off the bounce. Lots of points in there. For Cleveland, they've gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter started. Outside for Rondo. Let's it go from deep. Another three for Cleveland. Better outside when he gets into a rhythm or when he gets his feet set. Rondo's smart at knowing when to fire. And Green now, top of the key. Down low, Compasso, the pass to Dozier. Drops in the layup for two. Well, recognizing the size mismatch and then turns it into an easy basket there. They've got to do a better job with defensive help. They grab their own miss. Here's Fall. They shoot again, and he sinks the layup. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Here's Najee. Here's Rivers. Sexton grabs the board. And so Sexton will bring it up for the Cavaliers. Fall passes to Sexton. And another three for Cleveland. Nice shot from outside. There, there's no doubt about that. Spreading the floor and hitting them up. Now here's Rivers. Defense right on him. Compasso. And again, Denver Bakudo. with the triple. Compasso. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. To the paint. Here's Wade. And it's Wade with the jam. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist really the key to that entire sequence. Compasso, he's covered by Rondo. No coverage that's a Kundo Compasso. Compasso's got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for the Nuggets. This one for three. And they get it back. Fall passes to Austin. Fires the three. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Now here's Rivers. Inside. Green kicks to Dozier. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Falls got six rebounds here tonight. Wade dishes to Rondo. Pass to Osman. And there's the try. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. Sexton realizing that one of his guys is wide open and that court awareness, he was able to get it to him. Knocks it loose. Stolen by Wade. Outside, Sexton. From downtown. No good from Wade. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Dozier passes to Composo. Here's Nachi. Throws it up high, and the turnover again by Denver. Looked like a simple play and turned into a turnover. Can't give away possessions like that. He's checked in for the Nuggets. Murray comes in for Composo. And it's Rondo penetrating. And the basket by Wade. 
Rondo at his best, an elite distributor setting the table. Here's Dozier. And out of bounds. The Cavaliers will take it. Well, the body language right now is not looking good for this basketball team. The game might be out of reach, but they have to avoid mistakes like that. Cavaliers have gone 8 of 14 from the floor here in the fourth quarter. Here's Osman. Basket is good. The assist from Rondo. Rondo's got his third assist on the night. Here's Dozier. Looking to end the run, he lays it in. P.J. Dozier. Cleveland's gone 4-7 with the long ball here in the fourth quarter. The pass to Rondo. And another three for Cleveland. You've got to be up a little bit more on Rondo, capable of draining those kind of jumpers. Rivers surveying the D. Bull can't hit. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. And then Wade stings it in. Yeah, there's no excuse right there for not covering one of the guys on the floor. And that's Rondo around the rim where he can score. Now, here's Bull. Down to five on the shot clock. Over to the wing. From 15 feet away. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. That's one he knows he should have drained. Rondo passes to Sexton. Another three for Cleveland. Well, and this has been their strategy throughout the fourth period. We'll see how it pans out. It's one thing to have teams shoot a bunch of threes, but with this team being that hot defensively, you got to chase them away from anywhere near that line. A defensive breakdown there, no doubt about it. I mean, he's a guy you have to be focused on defensively. And stolen by Murray. Over Rondo. Murray, no good. And here are the Cavaliers. They're on a 17-7 run. Here's Wade. And Bull pulls it down. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for Denver. Here's Dozier. Puts it up from seven. He gets that one. Dozier. And how about the move he made there to come up and get himself clear in the lane for the deuce. And that one's good. Osman. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. For Denver, they've gone. 7 to 15 from the four here in the fourth. Right around 46, 47 percent. The Nuggets moving the ball around. And again, Denver with the triple. Well, maybe not a true point guard, but Austin Rivers is becoming more cognizant of keeping his teammates involved in the action. Now here's Rondo. It's tipped. And he recovers it. Sexton for three. It's not going to go for him. Now Denver takes it the other way. Murray, the pass to Rivers. To the inside. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. And that is just a deflating error on his part. It's yeah, he knows he shouldn't have made it, and that's just really overall a frustrating sequence that hopefully doesn't stick with him. Denver making a switch here. Green's checked in. Here's Osman. That's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. Rondo's got his seventh assist in the game. Rondo against Murray. Passes it to Bull. Trying to find Green. He's got it now. And at 7-2, Bull has incredible vision, including noticing when his teammates are open. Wade left side. Green with the rebound. Green's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. Here's Murray. He kicks it to Bull. It's Rivers on the wing. Defended by Sexton. Murray outside. 
Jacks up a three. Another three for Jamal Denver. Murray. I mean, he is bringing his game, guys. Another jumper from distance. Cavaliers shooting and hitting almost everything here in the fourth, up around 58% from the field. Fall passes to Rondo for the three. Another three for Cleveland. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Here's Dozier. Murray for three. And it's Osman with the rebound. Wade outside. Back to Osman. Kicks it to Rondo. Sexton for three. No, it doesn't go. His fourth miss in eight attempts. Denver shooting 53% from the field in the fourth quarter. Can't ask for more than that from your offense. And he commits the intentional foul. foul. Taco foul. First personal foul. Second team foul. Shot on the wing. And the shot is good. Ball, Dropping ball. in off the front of the rim. And the big fella knows how to score the basketball. Bowl's understanding of when to look for his is next level. Pass to Osman. From deep. They get it back. Fall. Second shot opportunity. And he lays it up and in. Fall's got four points in the quarter. Well, he takes care of salvaging that possession for the offense by getting on the offensive glass. Rivers again. Sexton. Now here's Rivers. He's tightly guarded. To the paint. Second chance shot. Fall with the rebound. Fall's got nine rebounds now tonight. Sexton the pass to Wade. And Wade slams it in. Wade. Flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. One of his favorite moves right there, guys. Now here's Murray. It's Rivers on the wing. A three-pointer off the mark. Well, after an impressive first half, he's just not been able to get the room or get anything going here in the second. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for Cleveland. You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And this team obviously one of the elite teams. They played with heart and passion for the game all season long, and the wins for them just keep rolling along. And tonight, it'll make win number 63. And with this win, it gives them a sweep of the season series, even though it's just a brief two-game. And beyond the actual result of this game, fans are going to look back and, and see this was just a monstrous performance for Rain Man. Just knows how to fill it up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. Nobody that they assigned to him could really get a handle on him. He was all alone on that one. Well, at this point, they're just trying to get back and see. You, you want to play a good brand of basketball. The consistency definitely is a, a key to some of the playoff performing teams. And tonight, they just did not find it in this contest. Pass to Osman. Here's the three. Green with the rebound. Murray surveying the D. And so it's Cleveland taking care of business in this one. They poured it on a night. Dominant showing in front of the crowd that love every minute of it. And, you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home no doubt helps, and the execution was flawless. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, guys. Kevin, congrats on the win. Are you guys gaining confidence, and what are you figuring out? Uh, just that we need to continue continuity. We really need to pick it up on the defensive end. Offense, we can get whatever we want, really, at any time, but the defense is where we're going to need to get better. That is somewhere where you have to tighten up, Kevin. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA.
presented by 2K Sports. And we'll see you next time.